been a year already. We're back here at Kurland, which was here two years ago. We've got 53 farms that we're going to traverse in the next four days. The weather is really playing this game, but I suppose at the end of the day, to have nice cold weather, a bit of a tailwind possibly, is a benefit and an advantage. So we're really looking forward to it. We've got 181 cyclists, all very, very excited. And we finally arrived at 6 now, so we get there nice and early, and the zip lining is going to be really cool. Yeah, thank you very much. Good to see you out um, so tomorrow we head out straight into Salt River, first bit of single track in the National Parks Otters Trail. Wonderful 50 shades of green, all the dairy farms, all the way through into Hankey, over into the Zeerbron area, across the old train bridge. And on Sunday we arrive at Crossways, guys. 360 kilometers in the bag. It's going to be an incredible journey. Well, we've been training a bit in the rain, so <laughs> somehow it looks like it's what's been predicted. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It's better than the heat. For me, I find it's before the Ironman event. I love to come do it. Four days of cycling in a row. It's fantastic endurance <laughs> training. And the scenery, it is amazing. A more magnificent start venue for the Prudential PE Plat one could not wish for. Each year, the route reverses and the Curlin polo fields with the Titsikama range in the background sets the scene for what will be a very picturesque four days of real mountain biking. But how's my daughter? Day three. She made little labels for me. Day two, day one. <laughs> Pretty cute, eh? What little babes. You deliver your luggage box to the truck in the morning and the Red Cherry team will see to it that it is waiting outside your tent on arrival at the village. It's the same for everyone. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, what do they always say? It's a, a bad day on the bike is a good day. It beats a good day in the office. So, you know, we're looking at a, a wonderful route, beautiful, amazing terrain to go through. Um, yeah, obviously a bit of dampness out there, but the guys are, we're all in it together and it's, uh, it's going to be a good fun. But predictions were a millimetre or two of rain, so all in all, it's going to be a good one. The Tough Riders will start first with a neutral zone of 1.8 k's before heading down into Forest Hall through the crags. The entry into Sand Parks Forest and the beautiful descent into Salt River is a true memory maker. The portage out is a short steep one and only the strongest will summit first. Andrew Hill and Stuart Marais from Team TIB Villa Honda were most definitely the strongest. The chase is on with the Valley Electrical Titan Racing Team followed closely by Kevin Evans Bike Shop. Day one needs to traverse the two mighty rivers, namely the Grootrevier and the Blokrans. Fine, I'm actually just glad that um, the rain is done. So I think now it's all plain sailing. It was awesome. Wet start, very muddy, but it was yeah, lovely, nice and cool, huh? Yeah. The Blokrans Pass, built by Thomas Baines, was designed around the Elephant Migration Trail. For many, this pass rekindles childhood memories of family holidays. The forestry village of Coldstream. The locals haven't seen this much excitement in years. It's the first year that we've created a class for e-bikes and wow, was it popular. With Greg and Neville fully charged up. The decommissioned R102 provides an easy access alongside the N2. Only one way to cross the N2 and that's under the Bosco Bridge and into the MTO forest. The Sand Park's Viticlip trails nestled on the slopes of the Titsikama range awaits. Yeah, but a flu. That's why I'm on an e-bike, the tail end of the flu. So this is helping me still do the ride and be involved in everything. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Very cool. We had a stick draad gereed in the middle of the path geleed. Toen hij om die kaset gespan, om die draad, die draad het om die tire en zo. En toen was hij ook gevraagd voor de tang, tang gevaar die draad geknipt, maar die draad die de rijder gebijt. Zo wippelijk en die ouds. 
Je weet, uh, die story red is so. At our water holes, we try and cover all the food groups. We have all the sugars, and we've got the peanuts and raisins and the chocolates, we've got bananas and the fruit cake, and then obviously our coke and water. And yeah, so we try and cover it all. We've got sunscreen, we've got lube, we've got a sunglasses cleaning station, and we try and just obviously welcome our riders, get their bikes all lubed up, get themselves all filled up with nutrition, set them on their way, and hope that it's a wonderful journey for them. Team TRB Villa Honda still showing the opposition a clean set of heels. So we're standing here at the King of the Mountain, also known as the Com section, also Queen of the Mountain, I'm on day one of the Prudential Pizza Plate. It's our biggest climb in the day where the riders reach the highest elevation. Um, it's usually the most challenging climb, the most grueling, and requires the most amount of effort and consistency to make it up these big climbs. The Titsikama Adventure Village, our sixth year at this venue. It's a spectacular, we're super, super uh, blessed and obviously uh, privileged to ride through such amazing areas. The old master Kevin Evans and youngster Rogan securing third place. Ah, uh, tomorrow will be great. I'm sure there's more river crossings. That one was fun today. <laughs> Woodlands Dairy Chocolate Milks and Nutritex Endurad on the finish line. Who could ask for more? And Dennis and his team do an awesome job with some great zip lining on offer. So for someone that's an athlete that's training every day, it's really, really good to incorporate stretches into their routine, whether it be before, which is also preferable, and after especially. I'm trying to loosen them out just a little bit with a bit of relaxation. That's what we worked on. For us, vegetarians and vegans, a bit of and a bit of energy and kracht for the, for the life is for On the other side we have some lamb choppies, susatis and burrowars. And hopefully the warm food will um, re-warm the cold riders. As dawn breaks, tired bodies. Day two awaits with a beautiful MTO forest section, a trip through the Rechain Protea farm and then traversing the new single track section along the Titsikama range. Oh, it was an absolute awesome tent, um, less the rain and the wind, we didn't feel anything. We had a great night's sleep, it was really, really good, nice and dry. The rain has stopped and food is high. The top three elites are still Team TIB Villahona, Valley Electrical Titan Racing and the Bike Shop. The mixed category highly competitive this year with Catherine Williamson and Conway Oliver of Pit Stop Sport 24 leading the way. Yeah, apart from uh, emceeing, I also look after the logistics uh, at, the at the village. Um, when I say logistics, it's the speed fencing that we do, the start and finish shoot that we use every morning, the blow up arch, activating the branding, putting up the feather banners for the various sponsors. We travel with a crew that's got to turn that around super fast. Um, on a day like today, we were expecting the winners in two and a half hours. Uh, it takes us 45 minutes to break down, half an hour traveling. 55 minutes to set up and then we got 25 minutes to sort out any snags or anything like that. So far so good. Kyle Bradford, our only rider to have done every PE plat. Once you've done your fifth, you're recognized as a hippo. Kyle is into his seventh and the hippo being an unpredictable animal lends itself to this race. The organisers made some route changes to avoid the forest mud with a shortcut down the R102 and right into Woodlands. Always a privilege to ride and race in the forest of MTO. This year we cut some new sections through the canopy. This area was in much need of rain and didn't disappoint. The e-bike class is set to grow and organisers are fine-tuning their involvement. The decision in future events is to not allow battery exchanges so riders need to manage their power. It's our eighth year running with uh, Plet to PE, great thing to be involved in. Um, it's, we're in the heart of the Titsikama where our water comes from, um, so it's very pertinent that we are part of it. Um, and yeah, having fun, great interacting with the, with the riders, they enjoy it and yeah, everybody's having fun. 
Team Red Cherry with Andrew Ogden and Andrew Van Holt lying in third in the mixed and looking strong. Bruce and Tracy Campbell are fierce competitors, but they couldn't close the gap on Pit Stop Sport 24. Kevin and Rogan for the bike shop in Plett, keeping the cadence on the KOM. Mark Ferrier and Rousseau Becker from Valley Electrical Titan Racing, clearing the KOM in second place. This is the Titsikama, and the community of Clarkson have been cutting trails for months. The split with the tough one and the light are at the waterhole. This is the last year where there'll be two routes. One slightly easier route from 2021 to cater for. Woodlands Dairy have been our partners for six years now, and with their home in Humansdorp only 25 kilometers away, we are certainly playing in their backyard. We're at the first choice stand, recovery, high protein recovery drink is what we've got here today, and we wish everyone all the best. May the best man or lady win. Bruce Campbell gives it gears. The true meaning of Tracy's push bike. Waleed Baker making easy work of our new contour path. The finish line in sight under the wind turbines. up with a prudential boost bar and an abundance of iced coffees and smiling faces, you know you are close to home. Welcome to dairy country and 50 shades of green. Thanks to the Biggs family for allowing our 180 riders and 82 crew to invade their home. Uh, this is just a stand for convenience that we've put up just in case guys have forgotten something like after their race or something so maybe it's not in their bags so we had toothpaste toothbrushes so if you don't have and then we've got uh, shower gels and deodorants just something simple for the guys to use and we also have some for the ladies also fantastic showers so important so welcome after the long ride good for the muscles getting rid of the mud just fantastic and there's pressure there's hot water couldn't be better it's, it's nearly as good as the massage the riders we create such wonderful relationships with the riders over the years and they keep coming back um, so yeah that's one of the reasons why we keep coming back every year helping them out getting them sorted flushing those muscles and getting them ready for the next day yeah I'm very grateful to be finished and uh, enjoying some nice food and lifting our feet this afternoon to get ready for tomorrow Pillow drops courtesy of Prudential, their very own Father Christmas. We offer the vegan, we offer the gluten, we offer vegetarian options. We only do lunch um, and the coffee in the mornings for the guiders. So yeah, we're definitely enjoying it. So we're doing good. This is day three vandaag van P to Plet. This is very lekker om nabe aan Jeffries te kom. <laughs> so nee, dit die been is al right. Ons gaan kyk wat maak jy weer vandag en dit behoort een baie lekker dag te wees, denk ek. Is lekker cool weer en rien en mooi in die natuur. The scenery was salubrious, so it was it was worth the ride, but I'm glad it was over. I, I must admit. So yeah, slept in a good bed last night, and uh, with a bit of luck, we have a dry day today. We're up and ready as Nutritech slash Endurate, you know, just to give the riders a bit of uh, a pre-workout drink before they get into the race. Sometimes they forget there, so we've got our own here that they can use. And then they'll catch up with me at the finish line where I'll give them some recovery milk as well. 
This is the first time we're doing this route and the day starts off with a downhill plummet into the Churchill Dam Valley. We're really privileged to get access to this awesome piece of MTB real estate. This is one of the main supply dams to Port Elizabeth and the good news is that it's at 82% full. Mia's from Talbot Trek, having fun. An early climb out into the Churchill village with the KOM awaiting. Andrea making easy work of the slippery climb. Francois from Plastic Rebuilders digging deep. We're now in the Surenis Mountains and the next 15 kilometers will see the riders traverse numerous farms as they head east to the village of Zubron. Clive Bramwell's farm is a real treat. Team bike shop Neil and Shannon lying in fourth place overall. Welcome to the Smartest Water Point. This is our second year that we are involved. Um, we are from Smart Security in Jeffreys Bay and we really enjoy being part of it. Squirt Lube, also a six-year partnership. England's Catherine and Conway from Cape Town leading the mixed. The only way to cross under the N2 with our new railway line section. The PE Pled route is a journey. Don't expect groomed tracks. It is what it is, and for many, this is what makes this four-day state race unique. So far so good. Looking forward to getting to the end, having some beer, chilling, having a snooze, getting ready for day four. Swartenbosch Golf Course is another regular waterhole stop, and now we're close to home. The logistics of not only moving villages but also the migration over four days with marshals, traffic and permissions is a massive undertaking. The fact that Red Cherry has a team of 80 plus staff looking after the 180 riders is testimony to that fact. The famous Mischen Pass on the way to Hanke. Cristini and Francesco, a wonderful Italian team. Entering the single track trail network of Zubron Farm. This farm has recently been sold, but the new owner, Piti Ferreira, very kindly allowed PE Plate access. Thanks, Piti. First time here, it's been a really good a couple of days for us so far, quite muddy and slippery, but it uh, looks like the sun's come out today and uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a lucky day tomorrow. Vibe in the, the race area is really cool, a lot of guys just hanging out, uh, having some fun uh, and sharing the war stories of the day. Luckily Titan Racing have uh, provided me with a replacement bike for tomorrow, otherwise I'd be in a, in a bit of a fix and they've been absolutely incredible. They've set me up with a great bike, moved all my kit over, the, even my dropper post, the saddle, the, the, the bottle cages, the whole works. 
they've really gone the extra mile and I really do appreciate it. So looking forward to riding this great bike tomorrow. With a no wallet affair on the Prudential PE plate, all the beer and wine is on the house, courtesy of Namibian breweries and Mbuko wines. Add to this live music every night. The Prudential PE plate is a real social affair and that's somewhat unique in today's stage race offerings. So this is our second year sponsoring the Prudential PE plate and it's uh, been as fantastic as, as last year. Uh, we've had uh, lots of rain, beautiful sunshine now, but it's all part of the adventure and I think the riders have really made some fantastic memories uh, this year. Uh, so in keeping with the cadence, we've uh, asked all our riders to upload their best photos and videos with the hashtag Keep the Cadence and at Prudential Investment Managers. So to have a look at what you may have missed this year, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We would love to see you next year for uh, this really special race. But uh, looking forward to the last day, lots of fun and um, great weather and uh, had a really good time. It's been a great race. Philippe sporting his new Prudential PE plate race shirt. It's a great morning's ride and the organizers did away with the neutral zone at the Zebron start so the racing snakes could get into the single track first and make the most of it. Ron Puttigill, who owns Three Rivers Trails, which is a day four highlight, decided to dump his wife Birgit this year and go solo. With the multitude of farmlands that PE Plet traverses every year, it's vital to keep their farming friends happy. The top three teams are still intact with TIB Villa Hona, Titan Racing and the bike shop making their way to the infamous Hamtuas Railway Bridge Crossing. It's a portage for most, but the brave opt to ride. Catherine climbing back on. From North Yorkshire, Catherine has been a part of the PE Plate journey for many years and was privileged to have partnered the late Greg Anderson in the mixed category. The arrival in Lurie and the last main waterhole, courtesy of Titsikama Crystal. Shortly after, the light will take the old tar road to Thornhill, while the tough riders do the big KOM climb up Black Porcupine. IGEN provide a Wi-Fi hotspot for the contestants at each of the overnight spots, uh, even at the, in the mountains at some of the really in, difficult to get to places, uh, and we're very proud to be able to be a support to the event. Thanks very much. Team Valley Electrical Titan Racing still holding their second place overall. Kevin and Rogan from the bike shop in Plett chasing hard. Finally regrouping, but no match for Andrew and Stuart claiming another KOM. Once you enter the Longmoor Forest, you can start smelling home as this is the corridor to the Three Rivers Trails and the Oxwagon Descent. on Three Rivers Trails and a six kilometer summit plummet all the way to the finish line at Crossways. What an incredible performance by Andrew Hill and Stuart Marais. Well done. It was unbelievable. I mean, today is the reason why we ride mountain bikes. Uh, some of the most picturesque trails, uh, most fun trails coming off the top of the mountain. Um, so yeah, from a, from a point of view of riding and experience and uh, chill zones, what an unbelievable race. Uh, definitely a race I've got to come back and do year after year. Yeah, we're going to see them again next year when Prudential's going to be back here um, for 2021 supporting Peter Plett. Um, we're all going to have another good time.